there's two really cool functions uh, that I want to show you guys really quickly. And to do that, we're going to need to create three divs. And we'll just give class equal a first here. We'll duplicate this. Go a second and third. And then style wise, we're going to do width 200 pixels, height 200 pixels. And we're going to have to give a different background for each one so you can quickly recognize which one it is. Green and blue, of course. So we'll save them, go back to our page real quick. Refresh, there we go, we still have the click me on here, right, but nothing's happening because we do not have an ID or class on any of these elements that are being affected by jQuery. So we're gonna scroll down, let's get rid of this right here. Let's keep the on button click. So when the button is clicked, do this thing. And the thing we're gonna do is, We're going to grab first, we're going to do dot fade in. And then we're just going to copy this. Second, third, we'll do fade in, but for this one we're going to do slow. And for this one we're going to do 3000. And I'll save it. I'll refresh and then when I click it nothing happens because they're not actually fading in because they're still being displayed so let me go here and quickly add display none so that they're not showing on the page and that they can properly fade in there we go so they're fading in you'll notice the third one goes a bit slower right and that's because we added 3000 of this which is 3,000 milliseconds, which is three seconds. We also have slow, which is why the second one's going a little bit slower. But this isn't really, you know, what you want to use because you really want to get a little bit more accurate on it. So figuring out what the milliseconds is really is not that hard to do. So if we remove display none, come back here and we'll do fade out instead. Save it. Reload the page, click on it, and then they fade out. Now you'll notice that the button keeps actually moving up as these things fade out. That's because they're disappearing completely from the, from the screen. They do not get recognized whatsoever anymore. So just keep that in mind that it just removes it completely from the screen. And just like with our hide and show, which had a toggle, this has a toggle too. So we can do fade toggle. Refresh. It'll fade out. Then it'll fade back in. We can click it a few times. If we click it a few times, this last one that is fading in and fading out really slowly, we'll just keep doing it until it catches up to every click that you made. All right, so fade in is pretty cool, but there's another one that's also really cool, which is slide up and slide down. So let's give that a try. Slide up. Slide up. You'll notice that jQuery here is using camel case, meaning that every word that comes after the first word, the first letter will be capitalized. All right, we can keep these same speeds on slide up as well. Refresh, and there it goes. So it's not fading anymore, it's just sliding up, which is pretty cool. Now, as you can imagine, there's also a slide down as well, but we'd have to do display none on that. But we can skip right to slide toggle. 
and it handles it right for us. So we do not have to add that. I can catch it as it's going up and down too to kind of mess with it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so that's pretty cool and nifty and looks pretty fancy. Um, you know, it's a really easy way to drop down, say, uh, maybe additional comments, additional reviews. Uh, you've seen this on quite a few websites where you want to read a little bit more. Uh, you know, fade in, fade out, slide toggle. Um, they're really good ways of, of going about and adding that in there.